Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis Coach. Today, I want to talk to you about watching the ball and how to watch the ball correctly on the tennis court. This is one of the least practiced movements in the game, and yet it's essential for high-level play. It's easy to think that you either watch the ball or you don't watch the ball, but the way that the brain and the eyes function is in two different methods of watching. One is fixed visual focus, FVF, and the other one is variable visual focus, VVF. When we play tennis, we need to be in VVF, and this is extremely unnatural and difficult to acquire, but once you actually have the skill, then the game becomes so much easier. The ball appears to be slower, and you appear to have much more time. So, first of all, what is the difference between FVF and VVF? Fixed visual focus is how we function in everyday life. When you drive a car, ride a bike, walk, then what you do is you will find a focus on a fixed object, and then as it comes in and out of focus, then you will judge the distance and speed of that object. And then we'll find a second object and a third object, and we'll continue finding fixed objects that we focus on, and then judge the speed and distance to know where we are in relation to that object. How fast is the car coming towards us? Am I going to walk into that object? So fixed visual focus is the natural state of the human being. And it, but in tennis, we do not want to use fixed visual focus. We want to use variable visual focus. And that's when we focus on the moving object and the rest of the world is spinning round. If I simply bounce this ball, the natural thing for me to do is to see the ground and the ball will be coming in and out of focus. If I lock my eyes on the ball, then now the ball is in focus and the rest of the world is moving round. When I bounce the ball with variable visual focus, then I see it with much, much more clarity. I see it with real focus, real concentration. Also, because it takes much more of the brain's capacity, disturbing thoughts, nerves, fear, tension, tend to disappear. And I'm only focusing on the ball and on the present moment. As we observe this ball here, you can see that if I allow the camera to stay in fixed visual focus, focusing on an object and allowing the ball to move, then the ball appears to be a blur. It appears to be moving very, very quickly. But now when I switch to variable visual focus and have the same movement of the ball, but this time the, ball, the camera is focused on the ball and the rest of the world is moving around, suddenly that same ball appears to be slower, clearer, and it seems to be the only thing in the world we can concentrate on. So clearly, fixed visual focus is not the way to watch the ball, and VVF, variable visual focus, is the correct way to do it. But how do we acquire that skill? It takes practice, it takes time, like most things that are worth achieving in life. What I suggest you do to begin is to watch the ball, maybe observing another match, looking at some of the players playing, watch the ball as though your eyes cannot move. And so you have to move the head to follow the ball. And then follow the ball with the eyes locked on the ball. And you'll start to see that the ball becomes clearer. You can get more detail. You can even see the logo of the ball. And with that disappearance, also other thoughts and distractions disappear as well as we find true focus on the ball. The next thing to do is in a rally, start to try to follow the ball the same way and make sure that your head is going down to the bounce. This is a natural way of watching the ball and my head is static, but now my head goes down to the bounce. I go down to the bounce and then I will naturally follow the ball out of the bounce with variable visual focus. Then, the more that you practice this, the more natural it becomes, because the brain is amazing, and when it finds something that it really likes, right, whether it's in everyday life, the smell of bakery bread, that song that you can't get out of your head, when the brain finds something that it really likes, then it holds on to it very, very quickly. And this method of watching the ball is so much better. It makes such a difference. It makes the game so much easier. 
It makes fastballs appear to be slow. It gives you more time. It gives you a better feel and contact. It has so many advantages that once you achieve it, then the brain will hold on to it and you'll see and watch the ball in a totally different way. Try this in your game. Um, we've got a comment section and we always reply to every single client. If you have difficulties with this, then talk to us and maybe we can find other ways of helping. But it really is worth working on and it really makes a difference. It's how every single high level player is watching the ball. And it's different to 99.9% .9 of the people who are watching this video. Hope this works for you. Let us know how it goes. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It makes a big difference to us. And remember, we do one-to-one -one online lessons. If, if you need any more help with your game, then have a look at our one-to-one -one subscription service. It's a unique service, including video analysis and individual training. Uh, you can have a look at the new website to see how it works, the links below. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really make a difference.